What if I told you your NVIDIA GPU has hidden performance potential that you're probably not using? Even if you've already tweaked your in-game settings or messed around with the control panel, there's a deeper layer of control that goes beyond what most gamers ever touch. In this video, I'm going to walk you through five steps. We'll use NVIDIA Profile Inspector, but also registry tweaks, CMD commands, and MSI Utility V3. Together, these can reduce input lag, stabilize frame times, and even unlock features that are silently disabled by default. And don't worry, every step includes a safe revert option, so you can roll back if something doesn't feel right. Step 1. Backup and System Preparation Before changing anything, let's make sure we have a safety net in place. A few minutes spent backing things up can save hours of frustration later if something goes wrong. Create a restore point. Press Win plus S, type Restore Point, and open it. Select your C drive, then click Create. Give it a name like Cree GPU Tweaks so it's easy to recognize later. This ensures you can roll your system back to a stable state if anything doesn't work as expected. Export your GPU driver settings. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Make sure it's already installed. At the top, select the Global Driver Profile, Base Profile, from the drop-down list. Then, click the Export User Profile icon. It looks like a small disk. Save the file as gpubackup.nip in a safe location. This backup lets you restore your current NVIDIA settings instantly if needed, without having to reconfigure everything manually. Backup registry before making any changes. We'll be editing hidden GPU settings through the registry, so backing up the related key is a must. Open Command Prompt as Administrator. Run the following command. This command will create a .reg file on your desktop. If anything goes sideways, you can double-click it to restore the original registry settings. Step 2. Unlock and edit GPU scheduling via registry. Windows hides advanced GPU scheduling controls in the registry. By default, you only see Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, or AGS, in settings. But under the hood, there are more granular keys that affect how the driver queues frames. Registry Path Here's what to add. TDR Delay Timeout for GPU TDR Delay equals DWORD 08 this extends the GPU timeout from 2 seconds to 8 seconds, avoiding false driver resets. TDR DDI Delay – Driver Grace Period TDR DDI Delay equals DWORD 010. This gives the driver 10 seconds to recover before Windows forces a reset. TDR Level – Controls Recovery Behavior TDR Level equals DWORD 03. This keeps recovery enabled but prevents over-aggressive resets. Revert Option Double-click the backup.reg file you created earlier or delete these values to return to default. Step 3. CMD Tweaks for GPU Performance Now we'll apply some quick command line tweaks to go alongside your registry changes. These help clear out old data and push the system to give your GPU a bit more priority where it matters. Open Command Prompt as Administrator and enter the following commands one at a time. Clear the shader cache. Old or bloated shader cache files can cause micro stutters and inconsistent performance. This wipes them clean. These commands delete both DirectX and OpenGL shader caches from your user folder. No harm done, Windows and your GPU drivers will rebuild these automatically over time. Reset the DirectX shader cache with DISM. This command triggers a deeper cleanup and removes any leftover junk related to Windows graphics components. It helps get rid of outdated files and cleans up unnecessary parts of the system image. 
good to run every now and then. Force GPU priority scheduling. Now let's raise the scheduling priority of the desktop window manager process. This is the one responsible for most of the UI rendering in Windows. This tells Windows to treat DWM.exe as a high priority process, which can smooth out performance, especially in GPU bound desktop tasks or windowed games. Note on reverting. No need to manually undo any of this. Shader caches will start rebuilding on their own after a reboot, and the process priority reset happens automatically with every system restart. These tweaks are temporary but effective. Step 4. NVIDIA Profile Inspector Tweaks With the system level settings handled, it's time to dial in your GPU-specific settings using NVIDIA Profile Inspector. These tweaks can reduce input latency, improve consistency, and let you control how the GPU behaves in games and applications. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector, then do the following under the Global Driver Profile Base Profile unless you're adjusting for a specific game. Recommended Tweaks Low Latency Mode Ultra Forces the GPU to submit frames as late as possible, reducing latency, ideal for competitive or fast-paced games. Preferred Refresh Rate Highest Available Ensures your display runs at its max refresh rate, not just the default one Windows might fall back to. Vertical Sync Force off, unless you rely on VSync. Disables driver level VSync for lower latency. Leave it on if you get screen tearing and don't use G-Sync. Texture filtering quality, high performance. Prioritizes performance over image quality. Useful for getting more stable FPS, especially on mid-range GPUs. G-Sync off if you're not using it. If you have a G-Sync monitor, make sure it's configured properly here. Otherwise, disable it to prevent conflicts. Resizable bar, rebar, enabled if your system supports it. R-bar feature enabled to on. R-bar size limit depends on your VRAM. Helps with performance in modern titles by allowing the CPU to access more GPU memory at once. Optional, per game profile adjustments. For individual games, you can tweak things further under their specific profiles. Frame rate limiter, V3, cap FPS to your monitor's refresh rate or slightly below. For example, 141 for a 144 hertz monitor. Helps reduce latency and prevents random spikes in frame delivery. DLSS overrides. Tweak DLSS presets to force higher image quality or a more stable performance mode depending on the game and your preference. Step 5. Enable MSI Utility Mode – Lower Latency As a final tweak, let's change how your GPU communicates with the CPU. By default, most systems still use line-based interrupts, which are less efficient and can add input delay under load. Switching to MSI message signaled interrupts can help reduce latency and improve overall responsiveness. Here's how to enable it safely. Steps. Download the tool. Look for MSI Utility V3 on Guru3D or a trusted source. Run as administrator. Right-click the .exe file and select Run as administrator to give it proper access. Locate your GPU. In the list of devices, scroll until you find your graphics card. Enable MSI mode. Check the box under the MSI column next to your GPU. Test the priority drop-down to high, optional, but might work in some cases. Click Apply and reboot your system to apply the changes. Once enabled, your GPU will start using MSI interrupts instead of the older line-based method. This reduces the chance of CPU interrupt delays, which can lead to stuttering or delayed input in games, especially under heavy system load. Revert option, reopen MSI utility, uncheck MSI mode, apply, and reboot. Wrap up. So in this video, we created backups and restore points for safety. 
edited registry keys for GPU scheduling and TDR control, used CMD commands to clean caches and boost GPU priority, tuned MSI mode to cut interrupt latency. These are all low risk, fully reversible steps, no overclocking or unstable hacks, just unlocking features already hidden inside Windows and NVIDIA drivers.